Hey everyone, it's Esman and welcome to Basically MTG. Um, Double Masters has just released here and I thought it would be a fun and interesting experiment to see whether the value of one booster box is roughly the same or lower or higher as compared to three VIP packs. So here I can get a booster box for $360 and I can get a VIP edition box for $120. So three VIP boxes essentially cost the same amount as one booster draft box. So I'm just going to be opening them. Um, I'm going to open eight normal packs and then I'll open one, boost, one VIP pack and then so on and so forth. And I'm going to include the two box stoppers as well. So I hope you find it interesting and let's see what we get. So this episode is not sponsored by any anyone, but I did get my Double Masters uh, booster box and VIP edition, edition packs from my local game store, which is Games Haven. So this is a big shout out to them. And you know, I encourage all of you to go and support your, lo your local game store as well. All right, so this is what we have today. A booster box of Double Masters and uh, one, two, three, okay, four VIP edition packs. So I'm, I'm only going to be comparing the highest value of the three edition VIP edition packs, but I'm just going to open all four and see what we get. And just to note, all four of these are from the same case. So they basically just gave me a whole case of the VIP edition packs. So it's a pretty big box. Uh, what's this? We have some this white cardboard thing. Yeah, I guess you know it's a premium product, so they have to put more stuff inside and make it look better. <laughs> but anyway, wow, look at that. That's our booster packs and our box topper right here. So I'm gonna open that last, I think. Okay, so how this works is that I'm just going to open 8 of these regular packs first and then I'll open one VIP edition pack. Uh, you know, just to kind of stagger the opening and see what kind of value we get. So let's begin with pack number 1. This is pretty exciting. <laughs> okay, comments, comments, comments. So let's put this in the common pile and comments. And our first rare. Ooh, wow, and our first mythic. Nice. Sword of Peace and Famine and foils. No comments and a token. Wow, okay, not bad. So first pack we get a we get a mythic. Sword of Peace and Famine. That's some pretty good value. Pack number two. Comments. Comments, comments. Oh, Buried Ruin, that's pretty good. Oubliette. Ooh, and another Mythic, but this one sucks. And a Godo. Godo's not, Godo's not bad. Foils, and Token. I actually think, I think Godo is worth more than the Maelstrom Nexus. <laughs> I think that's one of the worst Mythics in this set. <clears throat> anyway, let's see what we have. Okay, okay. Ooh. First land, Cascade Blunt. Wow, and an Austere Command. That's a nice pair of rares. And two more foil commons. And a pretty interesting looking Elf Warrior token. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the rares up there and the mythics below. And this is pack number four. Okay, Dark Steel Axe. Crypt Swap, Dark Steel Citadel. Oh, Spell Skype, nice. Oh, and <laughs> well, that's another mythic, but that's not a good one either. And a Power Plant, okay, two more foil comments. So, three mythics in our first four packs, but only one good one, I'd say. But the rares are not bad, the rares are pretty good. Okay, Chalice, Inspector, Uncommons. Alright, ooh nice! Exploration and a Bell Sphere. It's not bad, it's not bad. 
and two more foil commons. So a lot of foil commons. Mine. Uh, ooh, Vish Carl and a Grand Architect. Ah, not great. And we get some foil uncommons here. Nice. Seven pack, pack number seven. Nothing, nothing fantastic yet. Okay, commons, commons. Oh, lightning breeze. Okay, deep glow skate. Sure. Oh, oh my gosh! All right, there's something. Jace. Wow, Jace the mind sculptor. Wow, I think that's one of the. That's probably one of the best mythics in the set, uh, besides mana Kid and force of will. So I think it's the third best. Nice. It's my first ever Jace. Okay, last last pack for this eight before we open the VIP edition. And what do we have? Nothing. Oh nice, goblin guy. Greater good. Okay, okay. Solid, solid rares. And more foil. One uncommon, one one common, one uncommon. Alright, so I'm just gonna put them like this and now we can open a VIP pack. Pretty excited for this. I mean, this is this is the first VIP edition pack I'm opening, and I've seen some unboxing videos um, with some really cool stuff. So I'm hoping to get some nice, um, what's that, borderless foil toppers. Maybe a this. Maybe a force of will. Mana crypt. I like. I really like the mana crypt art. All right, let's go. Foil commons. Wow, these actually feel quite nice. Foils are pretty, uh, feel pretty solid. Oh, nice. Buried ruin. Oh, can we? Okay. Uh, uncommons, uncommons, uncommons. Okay, first rare. We have basilisk collar, and oh, first mythic better skull. Uh, not great. Prop rotation. Okay. It's nice. Oh, nice. Wow. Chrome Mox. First VIP edition pack, we get a Chrome Mox. That looks amazing. And all the lands. Okay, foil lands. Two foil tokens. Alright. So that's nice. It's really nice, actually, the Chrome Mox. So that's what we have for our first 8 normal packs and our first VIP edition pack. Okay, so just let me rearrange these and I'll put them a bit nicer so you guys can see them from the top view. Okay, on to the next 8 packs. Six, 8 and the next VIP edition box. So I'm really looking for. Uh, I like. I, I want a. I want a mana crypt and a force of will and a Kalia. That would be nice. Okay, power plant. Ooh, ooh, wow! Oh, those are good uncommons. And, eh, okay. Okay, oh, not great. And foil comments. <laughs> so that's an example of a bad pack. <laughs> Haven't had many bad packs, but that was a pretty bad one. Pack number 10. Oh, the mine. Ready keeper, Heat Shimmer and Kemba. Wow, that's horrible. It sucks. 
two more foil commons. So two bad packs in a row. No mythics so far. Oh, nice! Nice mythic. And a race, that's pretty good. Wow, I wanted a Riku as well, so that, that's sweet. First mythic for this second set of 8 packs. And we get the foils. Pack number four. Commons. Uncommons. Boundary. Beacon of Unrest. And Lux Cannon. Ah, not exciting. But Beacon is pretty cool. I think it was only printed in a commander set. Okay, some foils. <coughs> Eight. Pack number five. Ooh, bobble! Sarah's <laughs> fix. Oh no! Oh, oh, that sucks. Okay, so kind of had a, have a few um, not not great packs so far. <clears throat> Nothing very exciting. So let's see if we get some better pulls here. Power. Metamorphos, alright. Basalt Monolith, Moon Reflection, and High Priest. Hmm. Okay, I don't think that's a good pack either. <laughs> oh! Oh. Okay, so points. Seventh pack for this second set of eight. Let's see. Commons, comments, comments, comments. Good swap. Uncommon splicer. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, I like this card. Open the vaults. Blood Sport Rhinex. Okay, okay. Not too bad. I think those are pretty. Some pretty hard to find cards. And <coughs> definitely playable in EDH. So I like it. And the last pack before we open our second VIP box. Let's see. Here's um, uh, Okay, and comments, and nothing much. Reshape, okay, and Baleful Strix. Meh. Alright, so let's move on to the next VIP pack and see if we get another mythic or two, maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> Force of Will, or Mana, mana Crib would be nice. The Chrome Mods is really, really looks nice though. And I, I must say the foiling feels good. They don't curl, they're not, they're not curled at all. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Wow. Okay, so nice. Walking Ballista foil. Oh, and a uh, full arts eh? foil topper, Stoneforge Mystic, and Metal Mage. I mean, they look nice, but Chrome Box is nicer. <laughs> okay, so cool lens, foil lens, foil tokens. Okay. Okay, okay, so not bad, not bad for the second um, second 8 packs and the second VIP box. I think the first set of 8 and the box was better. 
So let's see if this third set of eight, the final set of eight packs, and the third VIP edition box will be will be better than that. Let's go. Okay, comments, comments, comments. Oh wow, doubling season. I love this art. Ooh, and the RX Mathis. Okay. That's that's a good start. That's a really good start to this eight packs. And foil comments and filter, but wow. Wow, the doubling season. Okay. That's that's one of the better mythics as well. Expedition map. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pongify, nice. Oubliette, nice. Call of Calling, not bad. Ooh, and a Blight Steel Colossus. Nice. Two mythics in a row. Very, very nice. Oh, and our first foil rare, which is a wound reflection. Not, not the best. <laughs> not the best. But okay, so foil rare. Uh, let's see, um, pass down. Okay, um, fatal push, nice. Oh, force of will and Bosch. Okay, wow, force of will. That's just uh, three mythics in a row. That's in that's insane. Uh, for common, for uncommon, copy token. Wow. So this box has had a chase, a doubling season, a flight shield, colossus, and a force of will. Wow. This must be the value must be pretty crazy. Expedition map. Okay, okay. All right. Death shadow and rested dawn. So no five mythics in a row. <laughs> Ended with a fourth wheel. And let's see. That's number five. Ah, oh. wow. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can beat the force of will with the mana crypt. Is it charm? Okay. Let's see. Show and a mesmeric orb and blink moth nexus. Okay, so proof and a second foil rare, Phyrexian Metamorph. Okay, okay. Um, not great, but three rares in a pack. I'll take it. Mm. All right, what else do we have? Three more packs. Three more packs. Bull shock gauntlets. Gelatinous thing. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is sad. Oh, this is a sad pack. <laughs> Let's forget about that. Uh, brainstorm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Highly forgettable pack. Alright, two more packs. Let's make this a bit nicer. What else is good? I think I also want a Skitterix. Skitterix is pretty cool. Oh, another leech and sculpting steel. Okay. Very forgettable pack as well. Let's hope um, let's hope this last pack is good. So far I think the value of this box is already very high and not even including the box toppers. So you know, maybe we just get another mythic, hopefully. Alright, uncommons, uncommon, prison. Ooh, alright, rugged fairy and another metamorph. Okay, so two more rares. I like the land. Yeah, and a foil power plant. Okay. Alright, alright. Let me just arrange this a bit and. We can um, move on to the third VIP edition box. So 
So I think I'm just gonna open all four of these VIP boxes. And um, you know, we'll just see what the highest value, the top three, the top three VIP edition box values to compare with the digital box value. So far we've got a um, pretty decent I think Stone Fox Mystic and the Chrome Box Topper Foils. Not too bad and a better skull, but I don't think that's worth much. Okay, so let's see. Average. Mine. Okay, factory. Alright, alright, uncommons, uncommons. Yeah. Lightning Greaves. Okay. Ooh! A land. Sunken Ruins. That's not bad. Oh, another land! <laughs> so two foil lands. Flooded Grove and Sunken Ruin. And another Stoneforge Mystic. Huh. Alright. And uh, what? Another meddling mage. Oh my gosh. So we hit the exact same two foil toppers as the previous pack, right? Yeah. Well, okay, so that's pretty disappointing. The VIP edition. Pack. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and open the final VIP edition pack. The fourth one. So, like I said earlier in the video, you know, all these came in the same uh, box. So it's basically a pattern of VIP edition packs. So yeah, let's get it better. And there we go. Okay, comments, brainstorm, search mode. Okay. And comments, bubble, and waffles. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, your first rare is Rage Reflection and a Drag Tusk. Meh. Crop Rotation. Another one. Okay. Oh, and we did get a Mythic. It's a Worm Coil Engine. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. And our lens. Okay. Well, uh. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so I realized that I completely forgot to open the box stopper. So um, I'm back again, and here we are. We're gonna open the box stopper. If I can get this open. So these came inside the booster draft box, and oh wow, they're so bent. Look at that. You can actually see that they they've been bent. I don't know. Why or how, but okay. Ooh, a mythic. Wow, it's uh, art is amazing, but I mean, you can see the bend, it's it's so bent. I have no idea why, but well, okay. So, we got a we got a mythic that's nice, and then it's pretty nice as well. Uh, yes, so that is it. Uh, so I'm just going to put the value up on screen so that you all can take a look. But I think overall the booster box was pretty insane. Alright, so that is it for the opening of the packs. We've gone through all the packs. And I think in terms of value, the booster box looks like it's going to be way better than the VIP packs, which were pretty disappointing in my opinion. So I don't know the exact value yet. I'll put them when I'm editing the video. Um, but you know, if you're looking to get some of these cards, I think you should just definitely buy singles. <laughs> Unless you have a ton of disposable income and you want to crack packs, then you know, go ahead and get a box or two. But I think overall, in terms of value, this set definitely has it. You know, it has some great reprints, uh, Mana Crypt, Force of Will, Jace, really good mythics. There are some bad mythics as well, but you know, I think the good mythics uh, outweigh the bad mythics in my opinion at least, and they also printed quite a good number of um, staple EDH cards and modern cards, so that should help get the price uh, dropping a bit and make it more affordable for people to play, and that's always a good thing. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, let me know, let me know in the comments below what you thought, um, how your packs were, and uh, let me know if you want to see more of this kind of content. And please go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me to grow the channel and get more content out there. 
Um, but that's it for now. So I will see you all next time. Bye.